All right, what's going on YouTube? Another scan tool review video. Today we're talking about Xtool. Xtool makes scan tools, and but it's not like these other companies like Top Don, Launch, uh, there's another one out there, I can't think of the name right now, that all use launch-based software, the Harbor Freight Icon, they do. Or like Autel, Autofix, all that use Autel software. Xtool is their own operating system, which I think that's awesome because the customer service is a lot better because it's just them. They don't have to be like, oh, well, the top down has this, but the icon doesn't, but the launch has both, yada, yada. There's a whole bunch of in intricacies like that, but this is the N9 EV. So it's an EV capable scan tool. I think that's awesome. Uh, these are the Tesla adapters for you guys that work at Tesla. You get a bunch of these adapters. You get a bunch of different stuff in the case, just like every other scanner that comes out of that part of the world, you get all these different adapters. I think that's awesome. Me personally, I work on Toyota Lexus, so that's all I needed to do. But speaking of which, Toyota Lexus, I haven't had any issues. I've been able to do everything I've needed it to do. I've been able to do resets. I've been able to do live data. The live data on this is awesome. So let's get into it. We'll go to the demo. It has automatic VIN detection. Blah. It has the topology. Big fan of topology. So you can do auto scan, which you do topology. You can just do a list system selection, or you can do quick read codes, or you can just clear the codes if you already know what they are. Like if you're plugging it back in, you see the clear code. Say you ran a fuel system service and you set, excuse me, say you set like a misfire from the fuel system as it's dying, just quick code clear. So we'll go to auto scan. It has the topology. Obviously, it's not going to be this fast on the car, but it is very quick. Uh, it's a very speedy scan tool. Excuse me. <clears throat> I've been very happy with it. So we'll go in here, junction box, mm, live data, instrument cluster. So look, you have your coolant level, washer level. Uh, this is a BMW, so I'm just kind of going through it. But you can graph each individual one, which I think is cool. Or you just want your fuel sensors, go to custom. You can graph both of them. Oh, I only picked one, my bad. There we go, custom, click graph, and I can graph both of them. I think that's awesome. It's been very, very capable. I've done things on this scan tool that other scan tools can't do and vice versa. Uh, one of the biggest things I like about it, wireless VCI. Although, it is not a J-Box. So I talked to, uh, to X Tool when I was at ISN. They're really cool guys, super cool dudes. Their customer service. I got their phone number. I call them or I email them, and I get a response that day. So they come out with updates if need be. They want they let me know like, hey, what's going on? I tell them I'm having an issue with this. They're like, we're gonna let you know by tomorrow, and they do. But I asked about the J Box. They said right now it's not a programming module. Which honestly, let's be honest, guys. I have a factory Toyota scanner. I don't use a J-Box as much as I thought I would. I have some other scanners that have J-Boxes and I never use them. Never, never, never. I don't think that's a deal breaker for me. At the price, I'd want it to be a J-Box. Uh, at the time of this video, I honestly don't know the price. I forgot, I'm a little ill-prepared. But what are you gonna do? But here is the EV side. So we go to diagnosis, demo. Auto tech, and it's just showing us the same thing. Never mind. I was gonna try to show you what it can do, but if we go to America, we got Tesla, Ford, GM, Tesla, any of the big name brand EVs. I don't work on EVs. Uh, my father-in-law has a Tesla. I'm trying to get it down to my house. He lives about three, or three and a half hours away from me. But that being said, it comes with. Like I said, all the stuff you need for Teslas. I got a buddy in the town over from me who's EV certified, so we're gonna try to link up, maybe test this thing out on EVs. But aside from that, guys, like it's got everything these other scan tools have. So it is an Android-based tablet. Oh yeah, it does have a uh, has a camera on the back. It's a little stand, but it's an Android-based tablet. So what I like about that is when I'm diagnosing a car. 
I can get on Google Chrome or I can get on the internet and I can look up service data. I can look up everything I need to look up, look up wiring diagrams, all that from the scan tool. I think that is a huge, huge benefit of these newer scan tools coming out. Like having the capability to have everything in one. And I'm not talking scan tool. We all know there is no one scan tool that fits it all. Uh, a good friend of mine, Enride Auto, he hits the nail on the head every time he's got a bunch of scanners as well they're all great but they all lack in areas so there's no one size fits all scan tool that being said i have the factory toyota scan tool with some top dons i had a launch for a while i got a zenith and they're all great in their own aspects but they all lack in their own aspects this one i haven't really found lacking in some things uh i ran into an issue the other day uh fuck what was i doing i was reading o2 sensor voltage post cat and it wasn't reading and i hooked up another scan tool and it read just fine and it kind of led me down a rabbit hole but that was just a one instance i haven't had any other ones like that but again guys this is a great scan tool um it's expensive being that it's ev but the, they make a non-ev version just the n9 it's a lot more affordable so on that note this is just the N9, which I like wireless. I like big and bad, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna keep rolling with it. I also have this one. This is the IP900S. It just became available here in the states. So how Xtool works is they have Xtool US, Xtool China, and they have Xtool Online. Xtool Online is just an online merchant. They reached out. They sent this out. They wanted me to test it. It's now available on Amazon. It's about six to seven, seven hundred and fifty bucks. A lot more affordable than the N9. However, it can't do EV, it can't do some of the things the N9 can, but that's fine. Maybe you don't need that. All these scan tools, man, like it's all about what you need. I know guys who buy Snap-on scanners and they spend fucking thousands of dollars and they're like yeah, I look at some live data, maybe some actuation tests. They don't ever use the scope it comes with, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, you don't need to spend that kind of money when you can get, like I said, six, seven hundred bucks. This one has topology, which I think is awesome for this uh, price of a scan tool. So same interface as the N9, has topology, live data, just as good. Now, the downside to this one, in my opinion, because I guess I'm spoiled now, it's wired. So this PCIe cable screws into the scanner, and then you put your adapter on there. This is a OBD1 17-pin Toyota. It's one of those scanners. It comes with a bunch of different connectors. I hate wired scan tools. Ever since I used wireless, I hate them, hate them, hate them. I know it's not the end of the world. And if you're a DIYer or if you're a guy who's like a used car tech or like just starting out on the main line and you don't have the money to dish out and you don't care about wireless, this is a great option. So let's, uh, I don't know how BMWs really work. I know that's junction box or something. Uh, electronic car steering. What is it? The, uh, something with a D, right? Is the fucking engine computer. Water on camera, see, now we did that, DSC, stability, DME, that's what it is. So, let's go to the live data on this, and same thing, so here's, here's your live data, let me get that glare away, so here's your live data, coolant temp, uh, let's do engine speed, oil pressure, mass airflow let's just do that so go to a custom list you can make a custom list just like the other one and then click graph now we can graph all of them which i think is awesome you click chart again you can list them in a column like that 2d graph so it's very capable for the price um so far all the x tool products i have i have been very very happy with i would 100% recommend them. Um, I don't make any commission off this video, guys. I don't make any commission if you buy an X tool. I'm not an affiliate with them. I just really like their scanner. It's been one of my top three scanners. Um, 
that's it. That's the video. I tried to keep this one short, sweet at 10 minutes. If y'all have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you're tired of scan tools. Let me know what you're looking for in a scan tool. Maybe I can do another one. I got one more scan tool, the Zima Z7, to make a video on. But, again, appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the support. My YouTube has been getting a little bigger. I'm about to hit 10K. I know that's no milestone to some people. But, to me, a guy who just sticks his cars in a small town in Texas and is doing this for fun, it's pretty awesome. So, I appreciate all y'all's support. I appreciate everything comments the likes all the love i get on instagram tiktok here so i just i really appreciate you guys until the next one i'll take it easy